Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how to do deadlift pretty easily for you casual gamers. The only thing you need is supercharged glyph. What is that? It's this one right here in the yard and tree. That is all you need for this fight. You can go with Pyromaniac, it helps speed up the fight, but it's not necessary. You just need this, that is it. Now, before we begin, my gear is complete shit. You don't need the best gear, as you can see, it's my gear's ass. So just so you know, you don't need the best of anything. You just need that one glyph. Before we start the fight, put on Igni. For phase one, hold down right now and start dodging. This will avoid the first attack. Lock on him, keep dodging. You can either go right or left, doesn't matter. I'm used to going left, so I'm going left. Once he swings, burn him. And just keep dodging. I'm going in a circular motion. Stay in the middle of the map. This will get you past phase one easily. Wait till he swings and burn him. It takes about five or six for me. It may take less Ignis for you guys, depending on your gear. But now I know if I burn him one more time, he'll go into phase two. So right after I burn him, I'm gonna switch to Yardy. There we go, that way it's ready. For phase two, he has three attacks. He cannot do the same attack twice in a row. So expect the other two after whichever attack he uses. I'm gonna hold down right now. Lock on him. Come on. There we go. That's his first one, his charge attack. You can counter that yard. And that is why you need the uh, super charge there. Now he'll do the bats or he'll impel the ground. Going for bats. When it goes all the way up to the top, just dodge left or right. I'm gonna drop this just in case he charges. He's charging. And we just slash him down. Get some distance between you before he does that, because that will do a ton of damage to you. He'll do impel or bat, and he's going for bat. Goes up, dodge to the left. I'm gonna drop this just up, oh, he's doing an impel. Oh, maybe not. When I say impel, he hits the ground like that. You can get a few hits in here. I don't, don't get greedy with it. He's doing the bat, so we're gonna put some distance. Dodge. He'll probably charge, there it goes. And we get a few attacks. Be careful with what's behind you. When he impales, he puts like a circle-y puddle on the ground. If you get hit by, or if you walk in it, you'll get stuck in it. Let's see, he'll probably charge. I'm gonna drop that. Here comes the charge. Get a few more attacks in. Create some distance. He hasn't impaled yet, so it'll probably be that next. Bats. Oh, be careful with that, not to hit the wall like that. Charge. I haven't seen an impel, so I'm gonna guess that's next. That or bats. Impel. Oh, he got me. That. Goes up, dodge. Charge, no nope, impel. Just dodge when he impels the ground. Charge. Once his life gets close to that next line, that's phase three. Watch out behind you, 
the puddle could be anywhere. I forgot where it's at. That goes up. Dodge. Charge. Nope, oh, impel. Charge. So this is all you have to keep doing. These three attacks, that's it. Uh, I could probably have pushed him. But it's fine. Let's take our time. Just in case. Oh, I got caught inside the puddle. That's what you don't want to do. Goes up. Dodge. Let's drop this right here. For the charge. And let's push him to phase three. So phase three is basically the same as phase one with a little twist to it. You can either do two things. I have two strategies. I'll show you both. One's way more easier than the other, but it's just up to you. So anyways, lock on doesn't matter what you lock on. Let's lock on him, okay? So you can treat it the same as phase one. Keep dodging, get Igni on, and just burn him. And try not to get hit like I did. Wait till he attacks, then burn him. Right there. It's not very safe to do it this way. But it is more fun. Once his health goes to about 15-20%, he'll despawn and it gives you a few seconds to attack the heart. So one more and he'll despawn. Then you go to the heart and just start attacking. He'll come right in front of where you're at and start attacking you. Or Instead of targeting him, you can target the heart. We'll go up to it, drop an Igni. This is an easier way. And just go in a circular path dodging. And you just keep doing this until he's dead. I usually like to dodge roll right here to get even more distance if he's right on you. Yeah, how close that attack was. That's why it's better to just dodge roll to get to close the cat. That's one. Now we go to the other one. And we keep doing the same thing. I'm dangerous. Now for the last one. Oh, he got me. Look at that. So, I'm playing with fire when I do that. If you're if you do get hit and you're kind of insecure about going for another attack, just keep going in circles until your life builds up. With you too. That's all you gotta do. Just keep going in circles.
But we should kill him this time. This go around. Now, this is the easiest part of the entire fight. But, he can hit pretty fucking hard as well right here. So just finish him off from a distance. Let him swing if you want. That can do a lot of damage. I hope this helped you guys. Thanks for watching.